grateful to have it as the host, the planning meeting. We hope everything has met your expectations. It is now time for us to worship. There is an order of service that has already been outlined. It is as I read opening praise, Jameson Baker, prayer, Reverend Bobby Jakes, scripture, Reverend Christopher Reed, Gloria Patreon, offering, and then the introduction of the speaker, Samaya Selection, the sermon, invitation, and doxology and benediction in that order. I want you to put your hands together and give God a church.
Oh, somebody needs to know God that you're still in charge. Give them a word, God. Bless the shepherd of this flock. Continue to bless them. Bless those who are from the sound of my people. Our God, when we come down to the end of our journey, give us a place in your home, in your kingdom. This is your servant's praise. In Jesus' name we do pray. And I say to God, say together, amen, amen, amen. Yes, yes. He is Lord. He is Lord. He has risen from the dead. And he is Lord. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue. It is done. 
Dr. Tish, D-R-T-I-S-H, the number one, Dr. Tish one, at AOL.com. Otherwise, uh, hear the direction of the finance team. Okay.
uh, to Rose Serene Moon, C. Wright Van Amsen, uh, to your wonderful elder, Amen. Elder Wofford, Testing History, uh, to all of you all, my family and friends, Amen. I greet you in the joy of Jesus. Amen. It's good to be back home.
and keep his commandment. Let your ear be attentive and your eyes open to hear the prayer of your servant. Somebody say, go on pray. Go on pray. The servant that I now pray before you and day and night for the people of Israel, your servant, confessing the sins of the people of Israel, All right. which we have sinned against you. Even, even I and my father's house have sinned. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Me and I say, I and my father's house, even I have sinned. All right. yeah. We have acted very corruptly against you and have not kept the commandments, the statutes, and the rules that you command your servant Moses. Yeah. Let me stop there for just some brief, brief. Go back and read that in your leisurely time. But the story of Nehemiah, now brothers and sisters, God is so awesome. He knew that you would be here today, and, and this is the first day of the rest of your life. Yeah. He knew that we would need to hear from him, not me, but from him. So I pray that God remove me out of the way so people can hear from you. Yeah. How many need to hear from God on this morning? Yeah. How many need the word from God? And word, God's word will not come back void. It will accomplish what it's set out to accomplish. Because somebody's going to be healed today. Somebody is going to be delivered today. Somebody's going to be reconciled today. Oh, I got some good news today coming from the Lord. Somebody say hallelujah. Watch this now. He knew that we would need to hear from him about how we would rebuild, restore, and revive his people. Somebody say rebuild. Reveal. Somebody say restore. restore. Somebody say revive. revive. Uh, how do we accomplish this rebuilding process and extreme maker over? First, we have to hear from him. All right. He said, my sheep, hear my voice. If you haven't heard from God lately, please check yourself. Somebody say hallelujah. He said, my sheep hear my voice. A stranger they would not follow. And then the second thing he said, we have to obey God. Uh, obedience is better than Yeah, I got some Bible readers I see. Now you gotta obey God. You gotta walk by faith and not by sight. We've been looking at the wrong thing for too long. Walk by faith and not by sight. The third thing, uh, he says, we have to adjust mm, our lives to his plan as he leads us. Right. All right. Oh, our time, we don't want to adjust. But if you're going to rebuild, if you're going to start over, you have to do, you have to readjust. Somebody say readjust. Yes. Well, well, I got some good news. I got some bad news. Uh -huh. See, if I'm going to rebuild, I'm going to have a makeover. Michael Jackson said it starts with the man in the mirror. In the mirror. Mm -hmm. He said, if I'm going to try to help somebody else rebuild their life, I got to start with the man in the mirror. Uh -huh. I got to start there because you do know I can't help nobody else if I can't help myself. Somebody say hallelujah.
easier to be the strong children than to repair broken men. That, that disturbed me. That disturbed me. Disturbed me. Disturbed me. Mm, because uh, what is impossible with man is possible with God. And that disturbed me because we got our broken men and women raising our children. Get on the main line. I'm telling you what 
right now. Three reasons to praise God. Amen. Yes. Number two, he saved me. <laughs> Number three, he saved me. All right. All right. All right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He saved me. Yes. He saved me. Yes. He turned me around. Yes. Put my feet on the side of my house. Yes. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 All right now. Yes. Right now, Mama told me whatever you borrow, huh. you got to give it back. That's right. That's right. Whatever you borrow, yes, you got to give it back. Yes. He didn't need my brothers and sisters because he gave it back. How do I know? How do I know? Yes.
worship leader asks, what's next? Yes. <laughs> Amen. It's time to get right church and let's go home. Thank you. 